Hello. Today I'd like to define what a polynomial is and uh, give you a couple of basic definitions and some vocabulary words related to them. Uh, a polynomial is an expression that is the sum of terms that have different variables raised to different powers. So an example is listed here, 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4x plus 7. Uh, this particular example has four terms in it. Now circle them. 2x cubed is one term. 5x squared is another term. This negative 4x is the linear term. And this 7 is what we call, sometimes call the constant term. Notice how each of these terms has a different power. This is x to the third. This is x to the second. This is technically x to the first power. And this would be x to the 0th power. There's no variables at all. So when a polynomial is written with the terms in order like this, from highest power down to the lowest power, that's called standard form. They don't have to be written that way. You could write it in any other form or any other order. Uh, 5x squared plus 7 minus 4x plus 2x cubed, for instance. That'd be the same polynomial but not in standard form. Now, each of these terms contains a coefficient. The coefficients are the numbers that are in front of each term. So 2 and 5 and negative 4 and 7, those are the coefficients. 2 is a special coefficient because it's the number in front of the highest powered term. And therefore, 2 is sometimes called the leading coefficient. So if you ever see that phrase somewhere, it's the number in front of the most important or highest powered term. It's called leading coefficient because usually it's the coefficient that's in the front. Like here, the 2 is in the very front of the whole polynomial. Uh, one more concept to think about is the degree of the polynomial. The degree of a polynomial is the highest power that you see. So this one, the highest power I see is a cubed, and so we would call this a degree 3 polynomial. Now, degree is important because uh, when we graph polynomials later, you'll note that uh, you can predict a lot about what it's going to look like by the degree of a polynomial. Um, and also when we solve equations with polynomials later, the degree has to do with how many answers there are. Uh, if there's an equation that had this polynomial in it, it would have three solutions potentially. Now, because degree is uh, such an important concept, uh, there are a lot of vocabulary words associated with the degree of a polynomial. And uh, here's a handful of them. If the highest power that you see in a polynomial is, uh, well, a 0, meaning there is no variables at all, uh, that would be an example like just uh, the number 2 uh, or the number 10 or the number negative 4. Those are all examples of constants. So we would describe those as constant polynomials. And that's because when you graph them, they're just the same thing the whole time. They never change. It's constant. It's very boring. If the highest power you see in a, a polynomial is one, um, you probably won't actually see a one at all. It'll be something like this, 3x minus 5. The power of this variable is a one. Uh, and this polynomial would be called linear. And that's because when you graph it, it forms a line. You've seen those before. The next word, and probably the hardest word, I think, with all these to kind of keep straight, is uh, if the highest power is uh, something squared, like uh, 8x squared minus 5x plus 10, then uh, the word we use to describe this polynomial is that it is quadratic. Uh, I think it's hard to remember because quad makes me think of 4. But uh, this word quadratic is actually not based on the number 2, but it's based on the word squared, x squared. And uh, it goes back to the same Latin word that uh, Spanish uh, language gets its word squared for. In Spanish, square is the same thing as quadrado. 
and uh, the same Latin word that gave them quadrato is where we get quadratic from. And so my thought process when I see something x squared, I think square, quadrato, quadratic. That's how I associate the word quadratic with the highest power of 2. Uh, similarly, if its highest power is a 3, you've probably heard us say uh, something x cubed before. Well, um, in those sorts of polynomials, we would call them cubic. If its highest power is a 4, we call it quartic. That one kind of makes sense. There's four quarts in a gallon and four quarters in a dollar and so forth. Um, and if there's polynomials that have any degree higher than 4, um, so 8x to the 11th minus uh, 5x to the 4th uh, and so on, we would call this a degree 11 polynomial. There's no fancy word for it. It's just that degree. Now, uh, another set of words that's worth knowing is uh, that each of these polynomials can also be classified based on how many terms it has. So in the example we saw on the previous page, uh, that polynomial had four terms. That's why I had four black circles in there. And so anything that has four or more terms is just called a polynomial. But uh, if something has only three terms, like uh, this is an example, one, two, three different terms, then we could call it a trinomial. Um, here's an example of a binomial, just two terms. And uh, each of these are constants, um, but uh, because they only have one term in them, we can also call them monomials. And in fact, a lot of times you put these two words together when describing a polynomial. This polynomial here, for instance, we can pick a word from this list to describe it based on its degree. Um, it would be quadratic. And then we can pick a word from this list based on how many terms it is. It's got three, so it's a trinomial. And so together, we would call this thing a quadratic trinomial. I wish that uh, I might be like a kindergarten or first grade teacher because I'd like to scare all my kids and tell them, can you list for me the first 10 constant monomials? A constant monomial, let's think about what that would mean. Constant would mean it, there's no variables in it, it's just numbers. And monomials would mean one term. And so a constant monomial is just the basic numbers that you've already learned, five or 10, or if I were to list the first 10 constant monomials, that would mean count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So there's some vocabulary about polynomials. Tune back in next time to learn about how to add and subtract polynomials.